Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in mid-journey, and I'm gonna show you how to take AI-generated images like this one here, and I'm gonna show you how to relight them with another free AI tool. If you look at this image here, it looks great, but it doesn't have any dramatic lighting in it. It's just basically flat lit. Well, let's take a look at what I can do here and show you how to do. Here's the image. Here is with some dramatic lighting. So you'll see here, I've got some red lighting on the cat here and I've got some greenish bluish lighting coming down. And then on this one, I went a little over the top, of course, but maybe that's your aesthetic. I don't know what you're going for. I'm gonna show you how to do it though. So all you need to do is you need to go to clipdrop.co. This is a tool that allows you to relight images for free. Just go here and then click on the apps and then one of them is relight. Once you've got that, now to select your image. So in this one, we're gonna take this basic image here and I'm gonna drag and I'm just gonna drop it right here. And it's gonna downscale it for us because they want you to pay for it, but that's okay. You can re-upscale it with another tool I'm gonna to show you in a second here. And presto, it gives us this basic lighting to start with. So it'll give you three basic lights. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just use this blue one here and delete it. I don't really want that light. I want a red light and a green light. And you can see here that by just clicking on it, I can position it. So if I want a light that's kind of over the eyes, let's say, for example, in the face, I'll just position the green light somewhere around here. I'll go ahead and I'll increase the distance, as you can see that I'm doing. So it's kind of lighting up the face, but it's not lighting up the background. And I can move it depending on if I want the light coming from above or do I want it coming from the side, you know you guys go ahead and do this as you see fit. I'm gonna go ahead and increase the distance a lot if you wanna light the whole screen up, just a little bit if you just wanna light up a little portion, like let's say I just wanted to light the eyes, that I would just do something like that. But anyways, you guys get the point, so I'm gonna light it, let's say I'm gonna light it over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna increase the distance and something like that. Okay, fair enough. Now, I wanna get some red light in here too, because I want some red light off of the, kind of off of the street, off of the, off of the stores and stuff like that in this little cyberpunk uh, city and I want it to reflect onto the cat here and a little bit onto her face or his face, I can't tell the gender. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna increase the size here. So you'll see here that it's getting nice and bright and I've got it so that it's kind of getting close to the mouth but it's getting, you know, it's not perfect but there we go, something like that. Let's say I want the cat's face to be lit and then I'm gonna increase the distance so that it's getting on the bottom of the of this kid's face. And presto, we've relit the scene. Now all you gotta do is click download, and there it is. It's free, like I said. I'm gonna grab it in my finder, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the image upscaler. I'll put a link to this as well. But I'm just gonna grab the image, drag it and drop it in here, Make sure 400% is selected and then just hit start and what happens is it just takes it and then it makes it 400% bigger and because it's, you know, generated in mid-journey, you don't lose any quality, it looks great. I'll even download an example here. I did this one here earlier. If I download it, you'll see here that it looks really, really high res. It's fantastic. So that's all you need to do, guys, to, uh, to relight, dramatically relight your AI images. Thanks for watching.